Hello, I am Ed Lee. I serve as the Senior Director of the Alvin W. Barclay Forum for Debate, Deliberation, and Dialogue at Emory University. I'd like to take a brief moment to welcome everyone to the 66th Annual Barclay Forum for High Schools. Each year, the members of a self-perpetuating Key Society, the Gold Key Society, founded in 1964 and hosted by the Barclay Forum, invites a select number of forensics educators from schools across the nation into membership. These teachers represent the best among us. They are teachers who have demonstrated strong leadership, top scholarship, and the highest standards of professional ethics. Please take a moment to read the names of those who have been honored through the Gold Key Society. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the key coaches of the Barclay Forum. In 1960, Mayor Ivan Allen dubbed Atlanta the city that was just too busy to hate. And while Mayor Allen was less than a perfect vessel for delivering this aspirational message, prodding the city to address its racist past and to invest in the development of all of its communities, the phrase, a city too busy to hate, continues to provide a North Star for one of our nation's more culturally vibrant and prosperous city. Atlanta is not perfect. The cable news images of a city engulfed in racial tension after the murder of George Floyd revealed that the city that was too busy to hate still had much work to do. No one is more aware of that than this year's Georgia Speaker of the Year. Unlike many who responded to those moments last summer by ignoring the scars of disenfranchisement and others who saw the toxic mix of violence and protest as another sign that we will remain unable to muster the collective power needed to heal the wounds of the past, Atlanta's 60th mayor, Keisha Lance Bottoms, responded with an understanding that if there is no struggle, there is no progress. We should not be surprised that a graduate of Atlanta's Frederick Douglass High School would choose to govern her city during one of its most tumultuous moments with the words of Frederick Douglass as her guiding North Star. The Barclay Forum believes that it is important for us to show our deep appreciation for those public servants who truly understand that our country's promise for freedom and justice for all can only be achieved when it is nurtured by a sustained commitment to honest conversations during our trying times. For that, we honor Mayor Bottoms. The Barclay Forum believes that it is important for us to recognize Georgians who understand that our Peachtree-lined streets of economic prosperity can't be maintained without constantly working to respond to the needs of the most vulnerable among us. We honor Mayor Bottoms because she continues to engage in a difficult balancing act as she governs to seek to make the dreams of this city's native son a reality. Every year since 1967, the Barclay Forum has honored an outstanding communicator with the presentation of the Georgia Speaker of the Year Award to honor the power of communication in intelligent, responsible, and effective civic speech. 
past recipients include former Atlanta mayor and UN ambassador Andrew Young, United States President Jimmy Carter, founder of CNN and co-founder of the Nuclear Threat Initiative Ted Turner, U.S. Senator Max Cleveland, U.S. Representative and Civil Rights Leader John Lewis, Dr. Carol Anderson, who is a preeminent historian challenging voter suppression, and last year we honored Sally Yates, a relentless defender of the separation of powers. I can think of no one more deserving of being honored for using their capacity to communicate intelligently, responsibly, and effectively for the public good than Mayor Bottoms. Throughout 2020, we saw Mayor Bottoms challenging her city to be better, challenging other civic leaders to do better. When Governor Kemp refused to support the wearing of masks to slow the spread of COVID-19 throughout the state of Georgia, Mayor Bottoms protected her communities by providing them with the information they needed to remain healthy and safe. At a time when other local officials around the United States were paralyzed by the political polarization devastating the DC decision makers, Mayor Bottoms created the political will in the city of Atlanta to create a $7 million fund to provide emergency food and housing assistance to those impacted by COVID-19. And when it came time to speak and act in response to the brutal slaying of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, and Rashard Brooks, Mayor Bottoms brilliantly contextualized the frustration of many of those in her community, held other political officials accountable for their actions and inactions, and challenged all of us to be better. In other words, Mayor Bottoms led at a time when we desperately needed leadership. For that, we honor Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms as the 2020 Georgia Speaker of the Year. Thank you, Mayor Bottoms, for your service and for your presence here with us this evening. Hello, I'm Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms, and I am deeply honored to receive this award today. When I was a little girl, my grandmother's next door neighbor, Miss Murray, would often say to my grandmother, I don't know what that girl is going to be, but she's going to be something because I talk so much as a little girl. So I know that my grandmother and Miss Murray are smiling down from heaven and cheering me on as I have received this award today. So thank you. Um, we know that the past few years in our country have been a time of great divide. And often voices are not heard, they are drowned out. Uh, and, and it's often difficult for people to express differences in a civil manner. But what we know is that it's important. It was important many years ago as people like Dr. King and Frederick Douglass and so many others use their voices to make change in America, and it remains important today. So I am delighted that you are continuing to hone your craft in making sure that we are able to have civil debates in which we may agree to disagree. I often tell my kids that when we lose our cool, we let other people win. Don't lose your cool, use your brain, use the power of the tongue to make a difference in our country. So again, thank you for this honor and may God continue to bless and keep you as you continue to hone a craft that is so important for the future of our country. Thank you. I'm really glad to be with you today. Even though we can't gather physically, it's nice to participate in the first virtual Barclay Forum for High Schools. We also gather today at a moment in history, humbled by systemic racial and gender inequality, existential climate change, and a devastating public health crisis. Never has the training in forensics 
communication, critical thinking, reasoned persuasion been more important. Barclay Forum has a 70-year history of service to educators, community members, and those most challenged in society. Social justice to us means respecting each other across difference as siblings in the human family. That respect comes from listening to each other, to understand each other, instead of listening only to respond. Social justice requires empathy, self-reflection, and embracing mistakes as our teachers. The conversations across the socioeconomic divide enrich all of us in our aspirations for true justice for all. It is a great honor to read these nomination letters, the students who are using speech and debate training to make a difference in the world. They are never more important activists than today. The finalists for this award are role models in activism, and they are Bentu Basemore from Achievement First in New York, Akshat Partiban from Thomas Edison Energy Smart Height Charter School in New Jersey, and Coben Szymanski from St. Michael Albertville High School in Minnesota. Today's Social Justice Award recipient founded a school environmental stewardship organization where they work to reduce school meat consumption as well as, as, well as propose a citywide single-use plastic tax. They also worked with United States Youth Climate Strike as a policy coordinator, strike planner, and lobbyist for action at the local and national level. Today's recipient has also volunteered as a policy co coordinator for Outfront Minnesota, an LGBTQ plus political advocacy organization where they have overseen fundraising and worked to implement gender inclusive bathroom policies. While the recipient has been active in their school forensics program, they have also coached and mentored a number of debaters from all over the country through Beyond Resolved, a student-led organization of over 350 members works to increase inclusivity within the speech and debate community, as well as expanding its availability to underserved communities. The recipient has overseen fundraising efforts, assisted in the publication of educational resources, coordinated instructional hours at their summer institute, and published research papers in national journals. The Transgender Narrative Program is a project of particular significance in the organization, a collection of experiences, lessons, and advice from 16 current and former transgender speech and debate competitors to share with the greater community. The recipient knows firsthand the challenges of being a trans debater and is committed, committed to making the community a safer space for people like them. It is my true honor to present the 2021 Barclay Forum for High School Social Justice Award to Kopin Szymanski. Greetings. It is with great honor and humility that I get to present the newly elected members of the Gold Key Society for the Barclay Forum. We are pleased to invite the following key coaches into membership. The first honoree has served on the National Speech and Debate Association Board for 30 years. He is a nine diamond coach. He has hosted three national tournaments and served as president for NSDA for six years. He was the National Federation representative for debate for the debate topics election for 12 years and he works part-time at Park Hill High School in Kansas City, Missouri, where he has taught speech and debate for 35 years. He has dedicated his career to ensuring decades of students have access to the benefits afforded by participation in speech and debate. Please welcome into membership of the Gold Key Society, Don Crabtree as an honorary member. Our next honoree has served as chair and as member 
of the Georgia Northern Mountain NSDA District Committee. Through his leadership, he has helped speech programs in the area thrive, with those programs constantly looking to him and his program at Dunwoody High School in Georgia as an example of talented and respected individuals who give their all at every competition in which they compete. He supports both small and large programs in the state and is always available to answer questions and give support. From winning local and regional tournaments to fantastic showings at national tournaments and NSDA nationals, his talents have a deep impact on his students and the students from other schools who admire his commitment and talent. Please welcome into membership of the Gold Key Society, David Gay from Dunwoody High School in Georgia. Our next honoree first became involved in speech and debate as a high school a student in Vestavia Hills High School under the direction of key coach Dukes. He has coached at the collegiate level at LSU, Go Tigers, and at high school level in Louisiana at Jesuit, and currently coaches at Durham Academy in North Carolina. His contributions include building a national program, hosting a quality tournament, and serving as district chair of the Tar Heel East District in the NSDA and serving in tab rooms across the nation. This in addition to judging round after round after round. Crawford has been a advocate for diversity, equity, and inclusion in his own program within North Carolina and throughout the nation. Please welcome into membership of the Gold Key Society, Crawford LeBoy from De Durham Academy in North Carolina. As a director of debate and communication department chair at Little Rock Central High School and national, at, at the National Historic Site, our next honoree coaches more than 120 competitive debaters. She has led her teams to top national debate success, chaired the NSDA Arkansas District, serves on the NDCA board, and has been a prominent teacher activist for school safety during the pandemic. She was recently named the National Debate Coaches Association's Educator of the Year, demonstrating how highly respected she is as a coach, a teacher, and a mentor. Please welcome into membership of the Gold Key Society, Rosie Valdez Block from Little Rock Central in Arkansas. Our final honoree teaches and coaches speech and debate at Mountain Brook High School and Mountain Brook Junior High School in Alabama. She has served as president of the Alabama Speech and Debate Association, chaired the NSDA Deep South District Committee, and served on NSDA's Middle School Curriculum Committee. She has coached her students to much competitive success and works to help other programs gain access to the benefits of speech and debate. Last year, she partnered with NSDA to obtain a grant to provide professional development and a free tournament for fledgling programs in her state. She mentors students from numerous other Alabama programs and is widely respected by her peers and the entire Alabama forensics community. Please welcome into membership of the Gold Key Society, Elizabeth Wood Wees, from Mountain Brook High School in Alabama. Now at this time, please join me in congratulating the new members of the Gold Key Society of the Barclay Forum. And now during your virtual BFHJ experience, if you see any of these outstanding and amazing coaches in a Zoom room over the weekend, please thank them for their service to the speech and debate community. 
each of them have made an invaluable contribution to our activity. This assembly is now concluded, and we hope your tournament experience is an educational and rewarding one. And we thank you for honoring us with your presence. And remember that despite our difference, distance, that the BFHS is still more than an event, it is an experience. Thank you, and may you have an outstanding and an incredible tournament.